seeing your first session as interim head coach today, how did it go? Well, first of all, I, just, I want to go on record really and say uh, how grateful I am to Lee for, for bringing me to the club in the, in the first place, what, nearly four years ago. Um, loved working with him, we've had some incredible moments uh, and we've had some obviously some down times too, but we've built a great relationship as, as he has with all the players and the staff and um, you know, I've no doubt that he's going to go on and get a, another fantastic job within football, he deserves that. He's worked incredibly hard behind the scenes for every single player and members of staff, as I said before, to, to try and get this club successful. And um, Obviously it was a very disappointing weekend, first of all with the results, again we felt we could win. And Cardiff you know, took the goal on the day, it was in a tight game and then obviously what happened afterwards is, is tough for everybody. So. Um, you know, we move forward, we have to move forward quickly, it's, it's, the, it's the job that we signed up for. Uh, we've got another game in 48 hours and, uh, and no one's going to feel sorry for us, obviously. So, Training this morning, yeah, we had a quick meeting with the players just to try to refocus them again. Again, people within the club have not been through something like that before, so it's important that we address that and make sure that we, we got that sorted as much as we could. And then, as I said, we've got training the players, yeah, the, the players that played on the weekend didn't do a great deal physically, but um, they all train well. And, um, as I said, we move forward now, we look forward to, to training tomorrow. As interim head coach, how does your role differ, or does your day-to-day -day look like now? Well, it's only really been the first day, of course. Um, obviously, a lot more responsibilities in terms of team selection and, and press and things like that. But, um, you know, Mark asked me to, Mark Ashton asked me to, to take the team until further notice af uh, after the game on Saturday. So it's something that I, I have to say I'm hugely proud and, and honoured to be given that opportunity by the club, by the board of directors. and. Um, it's something I'm going to try and make the most of and, and, and try and get the players, you know, me and the members, other members of staff are going to try and get the players performing at the best as, as quickly as we can and, and obviously it's a big game on Wednesday, we're looking forward to it. And what have you said to the players, is it about getting a positive mindset ready for Wednesday? Yeah, confidence is a huge thing for any footballer and believing believe in yourself and believing how good you are. The players won't be at this football club and at, at this level in the Championship if they weren't good footballers, great footballers. And, uh, you know, we believe in them as a staff and, and they have to go out there, as I say, and, and, and spread that energy around the teammates and, and feed off each other. Ultimately, the professional pride's on the line because we've not had a good run recently and people are asking questions of us. So, you know, it, it, we've got, uh, what, 48 hours before the next game and um, really looking forward to it. We have to keep going, of course, and that was a message this morning to the players. Nobody's on the beach and that's not going to be accepted. Um, as I said there, they're all good characters within the squad. And you know, there's many reasons that we want to get this this season off to a uh, finishing on a high. The supporters who, I mean, how hard is it as a supporter at the moment? You can't even be at the, at the stadium to support your team. And it's been a crazy old time through COVID. So you know, we we owe it to our supporters to put some smiles on their faces and you know, for the for the hard earned money they're paying online and, and the difficulties they're going through. And not only that, as I said before, professional pride is huge. And ultimately, it's, it's about enjoying your life again. It's about going home from a game having given everything and won the match and your, your kids or your, your wife or your parents being really proud of you and, and, what, and what you've done for them because you know, there's a lot of people's lives are affected uh, in and around you know, the supporters as I said and the players and the staff and everybody so yeah we, you know, five games in front of us um, only focusing on the next one. And how much are you looking forward to this game um, against Hull City of course they're only a few points away from, from relegation you know, we're at the other end battling for, for the playoffs. Well, they're fighting for everything, and then they are fighting. In, in recent games, we've seen that, and uh, you know they've got some dangerous players on the counter attack. So, of course, we've got to be aware of that. Most of the focus will be on us, as I said. There, we've got to try and get the shackles off the players and get them feeling confident in their ability. Naturally, the confidence has suffered slightly because of the run of results that we've had recently. So, we want to get off to a, to a flying start on Wednesday. Really can't wait to see the players going out there and, and putting in a performance for, for the football. Team.